Welcome back to season eight of my Oklahoma Sooners Death Penalty Dynasty. Today we are continuing on in the playoffs as we jump into the semifinal round against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And over on the other side, Stanford is taking on undefeated Troy. Notre Dame is led by senior quarterback Trenton Austin, who is an 89 overall. At running back, they have an 83 overall in Ryan Talley, who has 95 speed. And at wide receiver, they have a 98 overall Paul Jackson. He may be a problem. On the other side is going to be an 89 overall Rashawn Gaddis and then an 81 overall Anthony Wilson. Ignore the bottom of the screen where it says they're playing number three Michigan. Obviously, it's not the game they will be in. Their only loss this season is to Stanford, who obviously, as I just mentioned, is in the college football playoffs. So if Notre Dame can defeat us and Stanford take out Troy, they will get a rematch of their only loss this year. And for this game, it looks like the coach has picked Notre Dame. He has also picked number six Stanford to upset number two Troy. As we get ready to jump into this game, this might end up being one of the toughest games we have had this season. This is definitely one of the best offenses we have faced this year. And that 98 overall receiver is 100% the best receiver we may have faced in this entire series. And we will get the ball first to start today. John Jordan will field this at about the five yard line. We will see if we can open today with a solid kick return. And no, we cannot. Don't even get back to the 25. Now let's see what quarterback Sean Griffin and three-time Heisman winner Chris McKinney have in store for us today. We will start with a handoff to McKinney up the middle for a solid gain, a gain of seven. Second and three, Griffin back in shotgun. We'll take the snap, run the play action, and we're going to go deep on the second play of the game, but he overthrows the receiver and almost gets picked off. Third and three now, Griffin lines up under center. We'll take the snap, and a quick pass over the middle is dropped by Rich Anderson. We will go three and out and have to punt it away. Not really the start we had in mind. We have not had to punt a whole lot this season. And that is showing here as we apparently can't tackle and they get a return to the 50 yard line. They actually take over in Sooner territory for their first drive of the game. Back in shotgun. Austin takes the snap. It's going to be a QB draw right up the middle. He has good blocking and the first down brought down near the 35. A gain of 14 on the play. First and 10. Austin lines up under center now. He will send Thompson in motion. He takes a snap as a toss to the outside to Tally, and Tally has some good blocking to the edge, gets one hell of a block, another first down run, and they're forced out of bounds at the 15, a gain of 20 that time. Austin comes out lined up in shotgun now. From the 14-yard line, he takes a snap as a handoff to Tally up the middle, and how about another first down play for Notre Dame? This one a gain of 11. First and goal, they line up in shotgun. Austin will take the snap, it's another run play, it's a read option, and he gets popped by David Jordan for no gain. Now they'll line up under center here from the four yard line. He sends Jackson in motion and Austin takes a snap and is sacked immediately by Hassan Nugent. But there is a flag and I think we jumped off sides and that's exactly what it is. So it will remain second and goal, but now it's at the two yard line instead of the four. Austin back in shotgun here. We'll take the snap. It's another read option. He gets to the outside and Austin will get into the end zone. Touchdown Notre Dame and they take a seven nothing lead. Our defense kind of got punched in the mouth on that drive. We'll have to see how they respond. We take over at about the 23 yard line here. Back in shotgun, we'll give it to McKinney. And McKinney will cut up field and end up with a gain of six to start the drive. Griffin lines up under center on the next play and we're gonna go right back to McKinney up the middle and he ends up with the first down for a gain of five. Griffin lines up under center for the new set of downs here. He takes the snap looking to pass and will throw it over the middle. That's caught by Patterson who will get brought down for a gain of three. Griffin lines up on second and seven with Chris McKinney in the backfield. That's where we go with it. McKinney to the outside has some solid blocking and will end up with the first down for a gain of 10. Now Griffin's in shotgun for the new set of downs. He'll take the snap, run the play action to McKinney and we'll look over the middle and that'll be caught by true freshman John Carrington brought down near the 25, a gain of 30 on the play. Running back John Jordan would get no gain on the next play, bringing up a second and 10. Griffin back in shotgun will take the snap. And we'll throw down the sideline to Rich Anderson, who makes the catch and holds on through traffic. First and goal from the two. Never mind, it's actually from the one yard line, but on first and goal, we will give it to McKinney, who will walk into the end zone, touchdown Oklahoma, and we tie this game up. First and 10 from the 25. They come out in a five wide set. Austin takes the snap. We'll throw to the outside, caught by Jackson for the first down, a gain of 12. A five yard pass would then bring up second and five. Austin back in shotgun again. We'll be looking to pass. He throws to the outside. That's caught by Tally, but he steps out of bounds before he can get the first. 
So it is third and one. Back in shotgun. Awesome will look to pass under pressure, but finds a man open downfield. That is Jackson who beat his man in coverage, and he will be brought down inside the five. A gain of 50 on the play. No gain on the next play. Brings up a second and goal from the three yard line. Austin takes a side, gives it to Thompson, who tries to bounce it to the outside and gets brought down inside the one. Can the defense make a stand here? Third and goal from about the half inch line. Austin takes a side, gives it to Tally, who goes to the outside and will get into the end zone. Touchdown Notre Dame, and they take the lead right back 14 to 7. Following a touchback on the kickoff, we will take over the 25 yard line. Griffin back in shotgun. We'll run a read option. Griffin keeps himself, jukes out one defender, and will get brought down for a gain of eight. Second and two, we will come out and send McKinney in motion. Griffin takes the snap and will look for that pass over the middle caught by Washington for the first down to about the 50 yard line. A gain of 17. First and 10 out of shotgun. Griffin will take the snap, run the play action. Now he's under pressure getting sacked, fumbles the ball, but luckily McKinney is able to dive on it. So that brings up a second and 22 for Oklahoma. Griffin back in shotgun. Will looks a pass here. Waiting to work to try to go deep downfield and he overthrows Mangum again. Third and 22, not a lot of plays in the playbook other than everybody go deep and we'll hope for the best. Take the snap out of shotgun, rolling out to the outside. We're gonna try to find somebody open downfield, but can't and we're just gonna try to take off and only get a gain of two and we'll have to punt it away again. Notre Dame starts the second quarter at this 16 yard line out of shotgun. He hands it to Tally to the outside. He has some good blocking and the first down breaks a tackle from David Jordan and is finally brought down after a gain of 22. Now they're out in a five wide set from about the 39 yard line. Austin takes the snap and looks to pass. Steps up in the pocket under pressure, but finds a man downfield that's caught by Sullivan, who's brought down near the Sooners 30, a gain of 33 on the play. Their quarterback is absolutely gashing us right now. He is six of six for 104 yards. And on first and 10, they give it to Tally, who will stiff arm one man, get by another, end up with the first down. Not only is their quarterback gashing us right now, their running back is averaging 12 yards a carry. That is obviously not a formula for success. Now on first and 10, they run the play action. Dance around the pocket under pressure, gets away from David Jordan and finds a man downfield for another Notre Dame touchdown. They go up 21 to seven. How in the world is this defense falling apart this bad? Jordan will fill this one about the three yard line. Can we get a solid return? Yes, we can across the 40 and he will fight his way all the way down to about the 45. Hopefully that's the spark this team needs. First and 10, Griffin out of shotgun, takes the snap. We'll throw to the outside, caught by Patterson who breaks one tackle, needs a block, won't get it from McKinney, but will fight his way all the way down to the 30 yard line. A gain of 23 to kick off the drive. First and 10, back in shotgun, will take the snap and give it to McKinney right in the middle with some great blocking and a first down run for a gain of 10. Griffin back in shotgun again, will take the snap. Looking to go downfield. Now saying anyone come over, we'll finally lob it to the end zone and that is caught by John Carrington from 20 yards out. We make it 21 to 14. Austin back in shotgun. We'll take the snap, hand off to Tally up the middle and he won't get much on that play. Finally, we're able to stop the run. They come out for a second and nine. Out of shotgun, Austin takes the snap. Throws underneath, caught by Tally who breaks a couple tackles and ends up with the first down for a gain of 10. First and 10, back in shotgun. Austin takes a snap, it's a handoff to Steele up the middle, and Steele has a first down run and into Sooner territory, a gain of 15. A gain of three from their quarterback brings up a second and seven. Now he's back in shotgun, takes a snap, hands off to Tally to the outside, once again has pretty good blocking and a first down brought down near the 30, a gain of 16 on the play. From the 29 yard line, takes a snap, rolls out to the left side. He's under pressure and finally we get a sack today, a loss of three and that sack is gonna go to Dwayne McDaniel. Second and 13, back in shotgun, following the sack. He will send his tight end in motion. Austin takes the snap and looks to pass. A quick throw to the outside, caught by Barkley up the sideline. Luckily, he stepped out of bounds. A possibility to hold him to a field goal here. Austin in shotgun from about the 25 yard line, takes the snap. Stands in the pocket, under pressure, going to the end zone and that one will be incomplete. Alex Red, don't celebrate. You need to catch that one. So they send their kicker out for about a 43-yard field goal. If he misses this, we will have a chance to tie the game. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and it is good, so they will take a 10-point lead. We jump into the Sooners' next drive, and it is third and eight. Trying to avoid the three and out. Griffin out of shotgun will take the snap. Looking to throw downfield, we will dump it off underneath. Caught by Brown, who will get the first down and get forced out for a gain of 11. 
About 240 to go here in the half. Griffin out of shotgun. We'll run the counterplay to McKinney. The blocking does not set up, and he loses one. Second and 11. Griffin lines up under center. He'll take the snap. Roll out to the outside, trying to find somebody open. And we'll wait and just throw this one to McKinney, who will get close to the marker to bring up a third and inches. We come out on third down. Griffin lined up under center. We'll go right to McKinney, who gets a great block in the easy first down for a gain of three. Griffin comes out in pistol with about a minute 20 to go here in the half. He takes the snap and looks to pass. We'll dump this one underneath, caught by Anderson, who will get the first down and get brought down near the 25. First and 10 with a minute to go. Griffin from under center takes the snap. Looking to pass, we'll throw this over the middle, and that will be intercepted by the safety. He made one hell of a play to recover on that one. 54 seconds to go before halftime, and Notre Dame will get the ball first to start the second half. Austin out of shotgun, takes the snap, a quick throw over the middle, caught by Barclay, and a Notre Dame first down. A couple plays later, they let the play clock run down to almost zero on one play, so now there's only 15 seconds to go, and it's third and inches. Back in shotgun, Austin takes the snap. We're going to go deep down field, but we'll get sacked by Dwight Rollins, and we will burn our first time out. I know the chances are low, but with 10 seconds down by 10 and Notre Dame getting the ball first, we really, really need to try to get some points here at the end of the half. So they are punting it away to John Jordan. He will field it near the 30-yard line. We'll see if we can get a solid return with him, and no, we can't. With two seconds to go in the half, we will attempt to just throw it deep. Griffin takes the snap. And we will go deep down the left side. We've got a man, and that's incomplete. Could not get it to Rich Anderson. Notre Dame starts the second half with the ball. The 25-yard line following a touchback. Up by 10. Austin is sending a player in motion. He lines up in the slot, takes a snap, and he pitches at the last second to tally on the outside, and they will start this half with a gain of about seven yards. Now a second and three. Austin lines up in shotgun here. He takes a snap as a handoff to tally up the middle, and he breaks a couple tackles and ends up with the first down again. Third and five. Austin comes out in shotgun for it. He takes a snap. We'll be looking to pass. Stands in the pocket now, dancing around under pressure, but finds a man wide open inside the 10. What the hell is going on? A gain of 50. First and goal from the five. Austin back in shotgun again. It's an option play, but he is hit in the backfield by Dwight Rollins for a loss of four. Second and goal, Austin lines up under center here. From about the 10 yard line is a drop way to steal up the middle who breaks one tackle but is brought down quickly after that. Only a gain of one. Third and goal, back in shotgun here. Austin takes the snap, will be looking to pass. Stands in the pocket, throws to the outside, caught by Sullivan and he will not get into the end zone. Despite the 50 yard play, well there's actually gonna be a false start here. Anyway, despite the 50 yard play, we are still able to hold them to a field goal so this will remain a two score game. They come out for about a 25-yard try. The kick is away, and it is good. We started this drive at the 25-yard line. Griffin back in shotgun. We'll send McKinney in motion. Take the snap. Roll it to the outside, waiting for somebody to come open. Never really saw it, and Griffin's going to take off for the first down by himself. A gain of 13. Now they come out with three running backs in the backfield. They will try the option play, and he gives it to Garcia. That is not what I meant to do at all. A loss of three. For whatever reason, my brain just shut off on that play, but now second and 13. Griffin out of a five wide set. Will looks a pass. Will throw it downfield into coverage, and that's somehow caught by John Mangum for a gain of 22. Complete honesty here, I have no idea how that ball was not picked off. But now first and 10 will run the play action. Look to go downfield, and will throw for Mangum again, who makes the catch in traffic again. A gain of 23. A gain of two from Chris McKinney on the next play will bring up a second and eight. Now Griffin out of a five wide set. We will go to the end zone for you, Lane Washington, who makes the catch. Touchdown, Oklahoma. We make this a one-score game yet again. Now we need help from the defense. It is first and 10 for Notre Dame. At the 25-yard line, Austin takes a snap. It's a read option. He goes to the outside with some great blocking. A first down for Notre Dame, and they start this drive with a gain of about 25 here. First and 10, back in shotgun after the decent run. Austin takes a snap as a handoff to Tally to the outside, and Tally will break that tackle but get brought down in the backfield for a loss of one. Second and 11, back in shotgun again. Austin will take the snap as a handoff to Steele up the middle, and Steele doesn't have much space, only a gain of three. A chance for the Sooners defense to get off the field. It is third and eight, back in shotgun. Austin takes the snap, standing back looking to pass, and it kind of slows down, but he finds a man over the middle anyway for the first down deep into OU territory, a gain of 27. I still don't know why occasionally this game stutters for me. It wasn't doing that the first like eight seasons or seven seasons, but now it's doing it, whatever. 
First and 10, Austin takes the snap, looking to pass. Will lob it downfield, and that is tipped around and almost caught. How was that not picked off, guys? The Notre Dame quarterback has thrown two incomplete passes. Both of them dropped by Alex Red, and now that's going to be a false start on Notre Dame. Second and 15, he lines up under center. He takes the snap, hands off the tally to the outside, and he breaks a few tackles and ends up with the first down. How are we not tackling right now? A couple of plays later, it is third and seven for Notre Dame. This defense right now is starting to look like the early days of the death penalty dynasty where everyone ran right by. But now third and seven, he goes downfield and finds Jackson for the first down and into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Jordan will return this from the goal line. Let's see if we can get some good blocking. We get a couple of nice blocks here. Jordan does have a lane and John Jordan down the sideline into Notre Dame territory. There is a flag though. He's brought down at the 30. Is this coming back? Flipping on Oklahoma. So how far is this thing going back? It is going all the way back to our own 15 yard line. Well, that is one hell of a gut punch. I thought we were gonna have great field position. Turns out absolutely awful field position. Now first and 10, Griffin out of a five wide set. We'll be looking to pass. And no one's coming open. We're gonna try to scramble around and get sacked for a loss of six here. Second and 16, Griffin back in shotgun. We'll take the snap. And we're gonna go deep down the right side for Udlin Washington who makes the catch and will end up into Notre Dame territory. A gain of 42. First and 10, Griffin back in a five wide set again. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We'll wait and throw this over the middle and that'll be caught by Carrington. Never mind, punched out of his hands. Come out for a second and 10, back in pistol. Griffin takes the snap and will look to pass. We'll go over the middle here. That is caught by Rich Anderson. Never mind, he couldn't hold on through contact. Third and 10 with seven seconds left to go here in the quarter. Griffin takes the snap out of a five wide set. We'll throw this one underneath. That's caught by Weber and Weber will be brought down for a gain of five. Fourth and five, and we are gonna go for it here. From the Notre Dame 45, Griffin takes the snap. Looking for a pass, we'll go to the outside. Caught by Washington, who holds on through a big hit. First and 10, Griffin back in a five wide set. We'll take the snap and looks a pass. And we're gonna go deep on the right side for Washington again, who has his second touchdown today. And we once again make this a one score game. This is going to sound insane, but I'm gonna go for two to try to make it a five point game. That way, if they even get a field goal, it is still a one score game. Out of shotgun, we'll give it to McKinney up the middle and he will not get in. We really need the defense to finally wake up and get a stop today. Austin takes the snap out of shotgun, will throw to the outside, caught by Neal, and there's no way he was really in bounds. But I really can't afford to challenge it because if I'm wrong, we lose a timeout and we really cannot afford that right now. So they come back out in another five wide set. He will send a man in motion. He lines up in the slot. Austin will take the snap under heavy pressure. Goes downfield and has a wide open man. And he is going to be gone. 10-5 touchdown Notre Dame from 65 yards out. Jordan set to return this from the five yard line. Can we get another big return without a penalty this time? Jordan to the edge. Breaks that tackle. There is another flag though. What is this one going to be? It's clipping again. Are you kidding me? And it's on the same guy. First and 10 from the 12 yard line. I highly doubt Chris McKinney is going to get 100 yards today. He only has 10 carries for 43, but down by two touchdowns, we really have to start throwing the ball a lot. Griffin on the first play will take the snap and looks a pass. We're going to come back and just take off with Sean Griffin, who will get the first down and get brought down after a 14 yard gain. A couple of plays later, it is third and nine. Griffin back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and we'll take that quick pass to Patterson, who can't hold on through contact. Honestly, this might be the game right here. Our defense really can't get a stop today, so I'm not trying to trust them to stop them after a punt here. So out of pistol, we'll take the snap and go for it on fourth down. We'll take the throw to John Mangum, who got close to the marker. Do they give it to him? Luckily, they would give him the first down, so it is first and 10. Off play action. We're gonna go deep downfield, and that will be caught by Carrington into Notre Dame territory. A couple incomplete passes later, it is third and 10. Griffin out of shotgun with a five wide set. We'll take the snap and we'll throw this one over the middle. That is caught by Weber. Never mind, he dropped it through contact. So now we have to try to convert another fourth down. Griffin out of shotgun. We'll take the snap. A quick throw to Thomas Patterson, who never even reached for the ball. With 5.29 to go, we need two touchdowns. We need the defense to step up here. Austin takes a snap. It's a handoff to Tally up the middle, who has a wide open lane and another first down, a gain of 13. 
First and 10 with 5.15 to go in the game. Back in shotgun, they go back to Tally to the outside who meets Brian Alexander. It will get brought down for a loss of two. They get and 12 with five minutes to go in the game here. Back in shotgun, they give it to Steele. To the outside, he has brought down the backfield, a loss of two. Is the defense finally going to get a stop today? Third and 14. Austin back in shotgun will take the snap. It's a screen to the outside, caught by Steele, who gets around a few defenders. Stiff arms Alex Red will be brought down for a gain of 11, but it is fourth and three. They are going to attempt a 52-yard field goal with about 4.20 to go here in the game. I assume they will let this clock run down a little bit. Never mind, they're going to kick it now. The kick is away, and John Jordan will have a chance to return this one. He has one return already this season. Jordan to the outside. Right now, Brent Young, and he's brought down at the 30. So we're not dead in this game yet, and obviously I gave up some field position trying to return that one. Griffin takes the snap. On the first play, we're going deep downfield for John Mangum, who will make the catch in Notre Dame territory, break one tackle, and get brought down inside the 15. A gain of 58 on the play. First and 10, Griffin lines up under center. We'll drop back to pass. Stand in the pocket. Now we're going to try to roll out to the outside, and we will take off with Sean Griffin and run out of bounds for a gain of seven. Second and three, Griffin in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look for a pass. We'll go to the end zone, and you, Lane Washington, has touched down number three today. And with that, he just broke his own record for most receiving touchdowns in a single season at Oklahoma. It's a seven-point game with three and a half minutes to go. Notre Dame comes out in shotgun here. Also, will take the snap and hand off the tally, who bounces it to the outside, and Brian Alexander will make the tackle for no gain. They're letting the clock run down here. The clock is still running. Now under three minutes to go. It is second and ten. Austin back in shotgun. Tally is still the running back. And they give it back to Tally. To the outside, he's met by David Jordan and brought down. The clock is still running. It's third and nine. Nearing two minutes to go in the game. Austin takes a snap. It's a draw point to Tally. And he is brought down quickly. And they will have to punt it away. I burned our first time out with a minute 53. We still have two left and we'll see what we can get with this punt return here. No one do a block in the back. And John Jordan to the outside with a solid return is brought out near the 50. A minute 42 to go in the game. Griffin back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We'll throw over the middle. That's caught by McKinney for the quick first down. Brought down near the 30. First and 10, about a minute and a half to go. Griffin out of shotgun. We'll take the snap. Looks to pass. We'll go downfield and that is tipped around incomplete. Second and 10, Griffin back in shotgun. He'll take the snap and looks to pass. Roll out to the outside. Everybody went deep downfield. We'll stop and throw to the end zone, and that one will be caught by Brown. Touchdown, Oklahoma, and we can tie this game up at 41. Now we will see what Notre Dame's strategy is here. They have all three timeouts in a minute and 16 seconds. Austin out of a five-wide set. Will looks to pass. He throws to the outside. That's caught by Jackson, who breaks away from one man, but brought down for a gain of eight. Electing to not burn a timeout and run a no-huddle offense. Interesting strategy. Austin takes the snap. And he throws over the middle. That's caught by Sullivan. He'll be brought down for a gain of 13. First and 10. 54 seconds to go. The clock is still running. Austin takes the snap. And stands the pocket over the middle. And that should have been intercepted. That is three dropped interceptions today. He has thrown three incomplete passes all day. And all three should have been interceptions for Oklahoma. Austin back in shotgun with 48 seconds to go. He takes the snap. Standing in the pocket. Now under pressure and will throw it away. Third and 10 with 44 seconds to go. Austin back in shotgun. Tally is the running back here. He will take the snap and look to pass. It's a screen to the outside. Caught by Tally who stiff arms one man, but he will be ridden out of bounds for a gain of five. And because he went out of bounds, the clock does stop. Oklahoma's going to get the ball back with two timeouts and about 30 seconds to go. We'll see if we can get any sort of decent kick return here. And Jordan's just going to let this one go, and it will be a touchback. 31 seconds to try to win the game in regulation. Griffin from under center will take the snap. Will looks a pass, and will go downfield. That's caught by Carrington for the first down. First and 10 with 25 seconds left. Griffin out of pistol will take the snap. Looking to go downfield. We'll roll out to the outside. And Griffin's going to take off himself into Notre Dame territory and step out of bounds near the 40. First and 10 with 17 seconds to go. We still have one timeout remaining. Griffin out of shotgun. Will be looking to throw the ball. We'll throw it underneath. That's caught by Carrington, who makes some people miss and will be brought down near the 30. Running the new huddle offense. The clock is running here. Griffin out of shotgun. We may just let this clock run down a little bit. And we're going to call a timeout with three seconds to go. Notre Dame would then burn all three timeouts trying to ice our kicker. 
to go to the national championship here. Kickers remain out on the snap of the hold. The kick is away, and Oklahoma has still has a chance to complete the three-peat. I will be completely honest with you guys. I thought we were losing this game there for a while. I did not think I was going to be able to come back, but then everything just fell in place really well. You, Lynn Washington, had one hell of a game. Ty Downing, I'm not, no, okay, I just said his name wrong. That's Sean Griffin. Ty Downing was our last quarterback. Sean Griffin out there looking like Ty Downing in this game, though. But now we head back to the national championship to try to get our third straight win. Final stats today, Sean Griffin goes 24 for 38, 475 yards, five touchdowns, one interception. Then on the ground, McKinney only ran for 43 yards. I believe this is the first time he's been held under 100 yards the entire year, but we were in a need to pass situation. And then receiving you, Lane Washington, six for 129, three touchdowns, John Carrington, five for 96, John Mangum, four for 112, and then William Brown also got a touchdown. Brian Alexander absolutely played his ass off in this game. 14 tackles, easily leading the team in tackles. We only got two sacks today, one from Dwayne McDaniel, one from Dwight Rollins, and we got no interceptions, even though we should have had at least one of those three. And Trenton Austin definitely put up one hell of a fight against us. 24 for 28, 372, and three touchdowns. On the ground, Tally ran for 126 yards in a score. Austin also ran in for a touchdown. Receiving, this guy didn't really gash us. Jason Barclay, 5 for 45 in a score. Paul Jackson, 5 for 85 in a touchdown. But Nick Neal, 4 for 125 in a score. We could have had a battle of undefeateds in the national championship, but Stanford takes down Troy 35 to 30. So we will get to take on number six Stanford in the national championship game. I know this game had a lot of ups and downs, but our chance for a three-peat is still alive. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you guys next time.